You see, I have a problem. Whenever I'm doing my routine workout, I always needed a timer that will alternate between my rest time and my workout set time. And also, I have another issue where I constantly need to remind myself to stand up from my work desk because you know how developers can sit on the same chair for the whole day without seeing the sunlight. That is super unhealthy, so I figured I need to fix this. So I came up with an idea of creating an interval timer using React that could solve both of my issues and hopefully it will help you as well. So this is how it looks like. So in the main page here, we have a simple UI where we can define the timer for our interval where the app will run the timer in consecutive order. We can click on the plus button to add a new timer and we can also click on the delete button to delete a timer. We can edit the timer title and also the duration in each timer. And down here we have an option to toggle between looping indefinitely or a one-off timer set. If we enable the loop, that means our app will repeatedly run these two timers indefinitely. All right, why don't we click on the start button and see how the app works. And now we're in a new page where we can see a countdown timer with a progress bar, which shows the progress of the timer. We also got a heading here that shows what is coming up next after the current timer has expired. On top of that, every time when the current timer is expired, the app will play an alarm to notify us. I have turned off the sound because it gets super annoying when it is played repeatedly. But you can see here on the browser tab title, this tab is indeed playing some sort of sound. And I can also click on the pause button and the countdown will stop. And when I click on the play button again, the timer resumes. And if I click on the stop button, we get a prompt to tell us to go back to the main menu. And we can start the process all over again. And that's it. That's a quick demo on the app that we're going to build in this series. Although it looks simple, there's actually a lot of moving parts happening behind the scene. There'll be a lot of things to go through, and I'll teach you step by step on everything that you need to know in order to become a decent React developer. And just a heads up, I assume you're fairly good with JavaScript and understood most of the ES6 syntaxes. You also need a bit of knowledge on Node and also how to use NPM. If you have no idea on what am I talking about now, I'll suggest you to take a look at my other JavaScript series before jumping onto this series. The link is in the description. I can't wait to show you how to write this app, so I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for the support.